welcome back to Stacy So and So. Thank you for joining me again this week and welcome to all of my new subscribers. It really makes me happy that you have decided to join my channel and follow me on my sewing journey. Now normally I am doing a clothing item or upcycling, you know, a particular clothing item, but today I am doing memory pillows for my aunt. Uh, my uncle passed away just before Thanksgiving and I wanted to make something special for her and for my cousins and for their children to always have. So the first thing I did was this morning I sat down and um, designed a patch that I will put on the pillows. So I'll show you a little bit of that. I've got it on my embroidery machine now and then we will move forward with making these memory pillows and they're not what's nice about them is they're not going to involve a zipper and you're wondering well what if you need to wash them if you need to wash the cover you use the buttons down the front of the shirt to open it up so you can take out the insert and just wash the cover so it's a really simple way if you don't like dealing with zippers this is a project for you so I'm just running a test right now just to make sure that everything is spaced nicely and the saying on it will be this is a shirt I used to wear. Know when you hold it that I am there and then it will say either love Larry, love dad, or love Papa, and it will have a little heart on it. But so far so good. Everything is looking like I've spaced it pretty well, so we'll see. So this test run, I think, turned out pretty well. Looks like spacing is good. When I print out the oh, print, silly me, when I stitch out the regular ones, this heart will be red, and I'll trim the, I'll trim it better. But um, I just wanted to do a test run. I didn't feel like switching out the thread color for it. But I think overall this is good. So now I need to get started. Uh, it takes a while for these to stitch out, so um, I guess I'll get that stitching while we move forward with how we're going to cut the shirt. So the next thing we need to do is iron the shirt. I'm not going to worry about doing the sleeves, just the main part of the body, because that's the part we're going to be using to make our pillow. But I do want to get it kind of laying nice and flat. I am going to leave the pocket on it. There we go. And I went all the way down because I don't know how far we're going to need to cut. Okay, so I'm going to press the other side as well and then meet me back here and we'll start cutting out our pillow. Okay, so since our pillow is going to be a 16 by 16 inch square and the bottom of this shirt is, uh, it's curved. I came up to where the curve ends, which is right about here. Now, if we measure that up, 16 inches is right here at the armpit. So we're gonna have, we're gonna need to add some seam allowance. So we're gonna have to cut into this sleeve and it's gonna be a part, this will probably be a part of the actual pillow. So I wanna just take a pen and mark, I wanna do 17 and a, about 17 and a half for right now. So we're just gonna put a pin there and line it up and put a pin here just so I have an idea of where I need to start cutting. Now the shirt, as far as width, is plenty. It is about 20, 24 and a half inches. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut the sleeve right about here, and I'm gonna cut on both sleeves, and then I'm gonna cut straight across. Okay, so you can see the measurement. I actually came up because the pocket is right here. It's going to get sewn shut, but you're going to still see that detail at the top, which I think is going to be okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is um, 
we're going to measure across here again and we need to just kind of find the center of what 16 inches well 17 inches will be so that we know that this placket will end up being the center of the pillow okay if you're a visual person like myself sometimes it actually helps to take your pillow form and put it in place where you want it just so you can really see it and by the way this is not the pillow forms that I ordered they're still not here so I just made a little makeshift 16 by 16 out of some scrap fabric that I had and some polyfill so once I have this laid down I can kind of see just where everything is going to fall and I think I think I am actually going to end up having to pick off the pocket because of where it lies oh that makes me sad I might still leave it because it does have a cute little emblem on it so I may just leave it so anyway once you lay your pillow in place which you can do in addition to taking your measurements is kind of lay your pillow where you want it so that you know that you've got it in the center and then come up there we go this will give you some just some visual when you lay it out I'm just pulling this up on the side so I can kind of see where it hits halfway allowing for that that allows for seam allowance oh we're gonna have plenty of fabric I was actually a little worried because of the size of this shirt but I think I think we're gonna be okay so I'm gonna do this and then measure it off then all we do is cut our square and then we'll move on to the next step this is actually really really easy and remember we don't need to use a zipper for these pillows which is great okay so once you have your square cut out you're going to go ahead and unpin just set your pins aside because you're going to need them again and then you're going to there we are great thing about flannels it looks almost the same on both sides but they do have a little bit dex different texture just because of you know the wear so you're going to turn it inside out like so and then you're going to pin it together and you're going to sew it all the way around i'm definitely going to have to take that button off but you're going to sew all the way around so do that meet me back here and then we'll add our pillow insert and there we are so the great thing is you just use the buttons that already exist to open and close the pillow now I know when I sewed this together remember we sewed it together right sides facing each other which meant the buttons were on the inside now I didn't have any problem being able to unbutton them but if you think that you might what you will want to do is when you have the right sides together you'll want to unbutton your buttons at that time and just make sure everything is pinned in place so now all I have to do I have the patch already I already have the backing on the one side and all I have to do is just iron that in place and the pillow is complete I love the way these turn out um, if you want to make memory pillows, but maybe you don't have an embroidery machine, there are places on Etsy where you can have these customized patches made for your project. I'll include a link for a couple in the description below. But the other great thing about these, I mean, these pillows are just cute the way they are. So if you love to upcycle, this is a great project for you. You can make some really cute throw pillows for your living room or your bedroom and if you want to do something special for someone you love you can have the patch you can either make the patches or order them and I believe they make them so that you can either stitch them on or iron them on I'll try to find links for both for you so I hope you enjoyed this week's project I'm sorry it took me a couple weeks to get it together um, I'm actually still waiting for my pillows but that's okay um, I think I, I'm just gonna cancel the order and then reorder it obviously they must have got lost or something so I will be back again next week with another project I'm not sure what I'm gonna be working on yet 
Um, but I will probably be going live on Friday and continuing work on the Upcycled Gene Project. I've been going live once a week working on those and now we are at a point where we are getting really close to having them done. So I hope that you will join me next week for my next video and join me on Friday for my next live. So again, have a wonderful day. Thank you for being here. Welcome all the new followers and happy sewing.